Hello guys and welcome to the Pika Car channel. Today I want to take a look into the how is my next relationship gonna be like. Uh, I have a small table today so I'll try to show you all the cards. We have here pile number one, two, three and four. Okay so let's go with pile number one. Okay guys, so let's go. <clears throat> so the first card here, uh, this is talking about a lot of limitations, a lot of also structure, lots of, <clears throat> how do you say, um, compromises. So maybe one of you don't doesn't feel really safe or tries to control the situation here between you two guys. Uh, so this is your center energy here. Also, there is a warning here. Um, this is the cross energy with this one. So maybe you guys need to be careful about who you trust. Because everybody can appear uh, really nice and honest. But if you try to control this person or there is a fear that you need to control them it's maybe because you feel that they're actually like this uh, they're deceiving or you know also we have the snake here the snake is um, actually somebody who is not to be trusted you know uh, so there is a warning here to be a bit careful with who, actually to who you trust I'm sorry this is not so positive but maybe this is a warning um, to not to fall, you know, for someone who, this is actually also, I see this card as a narcissist, you know, somebody who at the beginning is wonderful, who does everything right, but then he shows or she shows the real face here. So be a bit careful of your um, signs that your body is giving to you. Also, this is the past situation here. Maybe you guys will have to need to decide between two persons. Or you'll need to decide if you want to go in this relationship. But I suggest if you need to decide if you're entering this relationship, be careful, okay? Uh, this could be also deciding between two persons. So, as again, do, don't, um, don't rush. Go easy into it. First, make sure you know this person. Because here, the, um, this is card of a, also a friendship, friendliness, so this is your um, main card here. And I would suggest you really first take time to know this person. When you know them, you will understand more if this is someone who is to be trusted or not. Also, this is your mental process. And it's talking about experience. So taking time to experience, taking time to see how they act. Also to understand how they, um, how do you say, how they react to certain uh, situations between you two. This will give you signs if this person is okay or not. Don't, this is really important here not to miss the red flags here, okay? This is your possible future, um, situation this is card of the burden so this would be you guys this would be your partner or him or her so that person is taking advantage of you guys could be taking advantage of you guys so really don't get fooled by this pretty face or the mask that they're wearing okay um This is talking about your subconscious fears. So maybe you are afraid if you go too easy or if you go too slowly that you will lose the person. But here is the message that don't worry because the right person will take all the time you need or they will wait uh, for you to take time to be sure to get to know them. So don't worry. 
This is something you will have to do with that person in order to see if they are trustworthy or not. Uh, this is talking about also about your suppre suppressed feelings or maybe you're suppressing your intuition here. Because I get the messages here that your body will be giving you signs. You will feel that there is something fishy go going on. Sorry. Something fishy going on. So don't um, don't suppress it, okay? This is your advice card. Uh, whatever you feel, uh, stop for a moment and really, you know, think why do you feel the way you feel, okay? These two cards are really good here. This is your possible outcome, okay? So if you will be courageous and not fall for this narcissist person here, uh, you will get a lot of strength for your future relationship. You know, maybe this next person who is coming your way is here just to show you or to give you a lesson to finally listen to yourself and to be strong and not let anybody walk over you or to take their burden, you know, because you will be exhausted if you go into a relationship too fast with somebody who is not good for you. Okay, guys, this is the short message. I'm sorry, it was not so positive. Um, but I feel that it's for your your own good, okay? Okay, so let's go with the pile, the blue pile. I'm sorry, guys, I mixed the cards, so I, I'm, I don't remember which pile was which. So just try to remember which one you choose, okay? Uh, so let's go. Okay. Okay, this looks quite promising. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I think, guys, you could be meeting your soulmate here. But okay, let's go at the beginning. Okay, so your past situation. I feel you're going from a place where you had your share of being burned or having bad relationship or needing a lot of lessons to learn, you know, from your past experiences. This card is a good omen that you learned your lessons, you learned what needed to be learn, learned and that bad, actually bad, bad situations, bad experiences are behind you, okay? Your center energy with this new relationship, it's talking about a really nice connection here between two persons. Uh, there is a lot of green color here, which talks about healing the heart, okay? This card is talking about actually healing with your heart. So I think you guys here or your partner will be really, really uh, nurturing for you. Or your relationship will be nurturing for you both, you know? Uh, so that's really good energy to have for your relationship. But also this could mean that there will be a few more maybe parts of you that need he that need healing, you know, that need time to heal. So with your next person, you will have to also learn how to trust again. This card is talking about trust. So maybe this is something you will need to heal with them or they will need to heal or you or both, you know learning how to trust again one another or to trust in love again relationship your foundation card here is taking action so in order to meet this person you will have to go outside you will have to mingle with people you'll have to go places uh maybe parking maybe be open to new people you know be open to meeting new people uh, maybe you will meet them through an app but I feel this is more through some sort of activity here, okay? Could be sport, could be some kind of hobby. This person will also give you a lot of strength. You will feel safe and powerful with them. Uh, this person will 
because of this person you will feel really strong in this relationship and really safe uh, this will be something completely different that you didn't um, experience so far so it's a really good card uh, okay this could also mean that you will have a strong connection mentally with your partner uh, you could be you know really compatible in the way how you talk how you think and stuff like that this is the future card really nice card so this person is uh, discovering some kind of treasure here uh, and also this relationship will be I think full of treasures full of good things that are coming on your way with this person so I feel you could be building a lot of um, good things together long term you know things you don't imagine right now doing this is your subconscious fear so uh, this is a card of um, wait I don't remember the word uh, synchronicity yeah this is a card of synchronicity so maybe you will be afraid that you know how will, how will I meet my next partner um, what if I miss this what if I make a wrong step what if I make wrong decisions and because of my decisions I don't meet them uh, this is talking that you should relax because uh, what it's meant to be it's meant for you to be so trust that you won't be doing a wrong step because universe will bring you to the right place at the right time to meet this person so this is nothing to be worried about again this card is talking about uh, heaven working behind the scenes to help you meet this person so this is really <laughs> funny you know <laughs> two similar cards talking about the similar thing here uh, so you should really try to relax because you will be at the right place at the right time to meet this person it could be something you don't expect where to meet them or, or how to meet them uh, but it will happen, trust that okay this is a bit of a sign that I think this is connected with here mm. maybe try to notice what kind of fears you still have or what kind of limited beliefs you still have regarding your relationships because this is talking that there are still some stuff uh, that you need to heal or process or maybe you know think about so this is a bit to work on yourself um, going um, you know self-analyzing stuff like that so there are a few pieces of you that need that need that actually okay and the outcome here this is a soulmate card so I think uh, this relationship will go quite easy you know when you guys meet it will go quite easy everything uh, it will not be one of those relationships where you struggle to be together or I think both of you guys will know this is it and you want to be with one another okay this is really nice okay let's continue with the next pile the red pile I'm sorry I forgot the numbers uh, I would blame I will blame it on mercury retrograde <laughs> Okay, nice. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's go to the past situation. So maybe guys, you left a relationship behind you or you broke up or you were single quite some time now this card is talking to me about manifestation uh, having a really positive outlook or maybe having positive you know um, expectations of meeting a new partner this could be you making the work on 
manif manifesting or positive affirmations. Uh, maybe some of you guys also feel that something good is on your way here with this next relationship. This will be your center energy here. So I think guys, you both will feel that you struck a gold here. Um, as you see here, treasure island. So this is something that is coming slowly to you guys, but it's full of treasures and love. Really nice card. This is a really positive card here. So this is connecting to this card, to the past card you manifesting this relationship okay what is crossing this energy between you two uh this is unfinished symphony so it's talking about something that was not finished maybe um there was a lesson for you to learn that you didn't quite learn in the past relationship so maybe you will repeat that uh, lesson here in this relationship Okay, so your, uh, your foundation here of your new relationship, this could be talking about a lot of new opportunities coming on your way or maybe a lot of decisions to make because this is your mental energy here and it's talking about discovering, analyzing, thinking, finding something. So maybe you will be faced with this person to think about... Um, Maybe where do they live or how, how, how this relationship function, you know, let me draw, let me, um, put extra cards to see what this is about, a clarifier, okay, okay guys, so yeah, this new life, so this could be talking about this where you will live or where will you start a new life with this person or how maybe there will be quite a few um, challenges but you will have to be proactive here both of you to find a solution how to work how to make this relationship work here i think it's nothing serious i don't feel nothing really bad here uh, this is your future card, so I think you guys will have to work on... There will be some work to do between you two guys, okay? As I said here, uh, this is a card of unfinished lessons. Unfinished, um, not learning quite. A lesson that needed to be learned. So this will be happening in uh, this new relationship. You will have to finish some kind of lesson that you didn't learn before. Uh, so we have next your, your fears, subconscious fears about this relationship. Uh, maybe you will be afraid that oh, this is not going anywhere or that this doesn't have a good foundation, your relationship, or um, you don't know where this is going or how could you manage to you know, be together. This is this card talking about a lot of possibilities or a lot of challenges, you know. But uh, the cards are saying to, uh, to focus really on all that is good in your relationship because there will be a lot to be grateful in this relationship. This is one of the best cards here. This is like 10 of cups in tarot. Uh, this is talking about um, emotional fulfillment, you know, uh, being really in love, having that warm feeling. Uh, so, let's see here. Okay, guys, so I feel that these are the outcome cards. This is talking about you being really close with this person to have that nice, nice relationship. But this is warning you go to the, you know, cross the finish line. Don't just stop before the end. 
next we have here this card really popped out so I felt that this card is talking about the feeling maybe that you know you really feel good with this person but there are so many maybe obstacles or uh, this is talking about this confusion here how how to make things function you know this card here so maybe you were feeling oh, this relationship seemed really perfect or it really seemed that they will be the one but this will be kind of an obstacle here uh, but I feel that if you take your time and don't hurry too much and just let uh, the process you know to unfold itself not forcing it so much you could be regenerating so this is um, finding a solution starting a new life uh, this could be also connected to these two cards so as I said before lesson that wasn't learned uh, doing the work needed and this cause the result then is regeneration okay maybe because of the unfinished lesson you will feel that maybe this relationship is not going anywhere uh, but trust me if you do the work and be patient with this person I think you will get what you're looking for uh, but yeah there will be a lot of questions um, to be answered uh, okay guys so thank you this was for number I don't know which number the red pile <laughs> Okay, let's go to the last pile here this one okay let's see so this is your past This could also be that you will restart some old relationship you already had or you will reconnect to the person you liked but never nothing happened uh, because this is talking about reliving the emotions so starting again with somebody your center energy here is talking about cleansing you know fire cleansing the energies the old energies so I really feel that this could be talking about reconnecting with an old relationship and I think maybe you stopped uh, dating because you needed time to heal certain aspects of you or them or you both this is what's crossing this central energy uh, this is talking about facing your fears uh, feeling the burden fall off and healing so this is all connecting really nice here the both cards are talking about cleaning about uh, emotional cleaning so or releasing the energies the old energies so I feel guys if you separated that it was because you needed to do this to heal uh, really nice this is your basic your foundation here this is a card of a message, new message, positive news, positive outcome. So yeah, again, I feel that this is restarting of an old relationship. And your mental process here, uh, this, opa, whoa. it says, I'm thinking about you. So maybe you guys uh, separated and you didn't know how to release this relationship. Or you knew guys that it was a wrong decision to separate but you separated you know uh, this is also talking about game of the faith maybe the situation came that you just didn't find a better solution but to separate 
I don't worry because I really feel that you guys are coming back together. Uh, this is your future energy. It's talking about peace. About... Um, this also talks about releasing the old... Um, old fears you had, you know? Maybe there was lacking trust, but... That wasn't really based on nothing but your fear. So this card is talking about uh, you will not have this fear anymore with that person because as I said here, you healed certain aspects of yourself also. This could be also about them. <laughs> okay, this is your subconscious fear. This is card. This card is talking about healing and reconnecting with your true nature. So there's a lot of healing going on with with you guys here. Um, really interesting. So I really feel this will be reigniting old love that you already had. Uh, maybe you are afraid that you will repeat the same mistakes as before, you know? Or maybe you didn't know how to draw boundary, boundaries. And you're afraid you will repeat the same mistake again. But I think you won't because this is healing right now. Uh, this is your advice card. It says enchanted forest, secrets, magic, excitement. So I feel that you guys here... Um, should go with the flow here, okay? Uh, if they reconnect or you want to reconnect with them, just go with the flow. Don't expect anything on how things should happen or, you know, go with the flow. This is your advice here. The outcome cards is talking about achievement and message of love. And message of love, okay? Uh, so this is talking about you needing to focus on yourself. Even if you go into the relationship, focus on yourself. Don't let um, the relationship be the main thing for you guys. You need to balance between having your life and having a life with partner, okay? So... It's basically telling, don't forget about yourself, about your goals, things you like, you know? Because maybe in the past you did forget about that. And the other uh, card of outcome uh, is basically talking about love. This is a lot of love. Um, and the green color here is healing energy. So basically all of this is telling me that if you guys separated, it was for a reason to heal and then reconnect again and start a better relationship for more on more healthy um, foundations you know okay guys thank you for listening uh, hope you liked it like share and subscribe and see you next time bye bye